What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. I am call I'm actually talking to you guys from my home for the first time. Normally when I talk to you guys, we are um in the car talking or whatever we're doing. So, uh, interesting thing happened yesterday. I was uh, at work and I get my normal phone calls that I normally get from my nurse practitioner and we just do an update every week on my numbers and could I do lab results every week. So, all in all, this is a long story short, get right to the point. So I'm sitting there and she tells me, look, I need to talk to you and um, I need to go over one thing with you. Sure, what's that? She says, I'm not sure if you saw on the news, um, the HeartMate 3, there was a recall. So if you guys don't know, the HeartMate 3 is what I currently have in my body and that's my heart pump. Um, so she said that there was a recall, don't stress. Right away in my head, I went to red alarm mode, but I stayed quiet and I said, well, let me hear it out. Don't overreact. Can't live life too crazy, right? Don't need the stress. So um, she was explaining to me that there was a recall because of the fact that um, the way the the heart pump was actually, I guess, when it was assembled, there was issues with um, one of the parts or something, you know, the tubing was wrapping around the aorta. So um, I looked into it a little bit more, but realistically, she told me, she said, don't worry about it. Just check your flows. So if you guys are HeartMate 3 patients, go to your monitor, check your flow, make sure that's good. Also making sure that you're checking your return to flows. Those numbers, if they're constantly staying consistent, then you're good. If it's starting to drop, that's a scary thing. Um, from my understanding, out of 5,000 patients who have the HeartMate 3 in, this, in America, um, only 35 had an issue. It's a very small percentage, but the problem is the reason why it's such a big deal is because of the fact that um, the the measures that have to be taken in order to fix the situation is ob obviously open heart surgery. So that's a big deal. So um, that's why it's a stage one recall, which is the highest priority. So that's what's going on. Um, it does, this does not mean that I have to go in and they got to open me up. No, if my numbers are good, we're good. And I checked my numbers and we're fine. So I'm still around. I'm not going away. So you're gonna have to deal with me a little bit longer. And you hear my wife in the background. She's she's bummed out that I'm uh, that I'm still here. So and she needs money. She says so. Yeah. Anyways, um, so let's get on to this. All right, let's find out what's going on. Why? So you can look at this research yourself, guys. I'm just gonna go straight from the website and keep it short. Um, this is from the FDA website. Abbott is the name of the company that makes my HeartMate three, and I believe they make HeartMate two, obviously. So the HeartMate 2 has been around forever. If you're a HeartMate 2 um, patient, you're fine. It's just a HeartMate 3. So the use of a HeartMate, um, for you guys who don't know, an LVAD is what I have. If you want to know what it is, this is what it does. It helps deliver blood from the heart to the rest of the body. So it's constantly pumping your heart. Your heart pumps. It gets blood flowing through the body, and that's what this is doing for you. It's used for short-term support of patients who are at risk of death from end stage left ventricle uh, heart failure, which is myself, and such as patients awaiting a heart transplant. That's really me. I'm the one waiting a heart transplant. So that's what's going on there. The system includes a blood pump that is important in the space around the heart, um, along with the outflow graph that connects to the pump to the aorta. So um, that pump goes right under my heart right there. It's pretty neat, connects to the heart. All right, the reason for the recall. So this is just basically a basic thing here. About Abbott, which is a company, is recalling the HeartMate 3 um, due to the malfunction in the device, the device's outflow graft assembly that may cause the outflow graft to twist and close up over time, also called an occlusion. Um, occlusion of the outflow graft can reduce or stop flow and set off persistent low flow alarm in the system so basically you can get like a low flow like radar alarm that goes off on these things if it's constantly going off that's a good sign that you're going to have an issue luckily for me i'm blessed no issues at all so a reduction in the pump can lead to serious adverse events such as blood clots and um, death so other than that, that's what happened. That's what could have happened. I'm fine. Like I said, the chances of that happening to me or anybody else is very slim. I'm sorry for the 35 patients who have to get this fixed and go through this all over again. Um, but that's pretty much what's going on. Um, that's the reason why it's a stage one recall is because of the fact that the severity of it and what could happen.
Um, that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. Let me just double check and make sure what to do for if you've, you're a patient. Um, if you're seeing low flow alarms, contact your physician uh, managing their heart rate three, which is my um, nurse practitioner at Chance. So that's the one I would contact if I had issues. So good thing we haven't had any issues. No low flow, no low flow alarms. Um, there is some information for physicians, but nobody on here is a physician. So if anything, um, the date recall when it started, I didn't know this, guys. So you really, we really can't be negligent i guess you can say or ignorant to, to our, our pump just because it's there and it, you know we're just living life i am living life i gotta be a little more persistent on what's going on but this date recall was back in april and i had no idea nobody said anything about it um i haven't seen it in the news they've talked about it but i haven't seen it in the news the only thing i've seen is what i heard yesterday and when i went on google the first thing that comes up are lawyers saying hey do you have a heart main three issue you know it's just a normal thing so that's pretty much how it is. So, guys, that's my video today. Just I'm blessed. I'm fine. There's no problems at all. I thank you guys for watching. If you're a HeartMate 3 patient, reminder, check your flows. Check your numbers. Make sure they're good. If they're starting to drop, that's a sign. If you're getting that low flow alarm, that's a sign. So, make sure you contact your physician. For um, you guys out there that are um, HeartMate 2s, you're good. So, I thank you so much. Be blessed. Stay out of trouble. Um, if you like my setting, then I can constantly do it in here all the time. It's pretty nice not having the engine in the back of my car, but it is pretty therapeutic being in my car so much. So, all right, guys, have a blessed one. I'll see you. Peace.